what's up YouTube, Fearblaze here, Bri wow that's convenient, bring you guys another episode of Pixelmon SMP and today we are actually going to be looking for Pokemon for our gym and as you guys can see by my little excitement right there, we actually did decide to go with a, honestly I did not see him before I start recording guys so don't be like wow fire it's scripted, it's not, I I killed it by accident, guys. But I... Wow, that, that's really unfortunate. But I decided to go with a water-type gym. Now, many of you guys may be like, Fear, I don't know, because I was really looking to grass and water, and I'm still not 100% sure, and I guess I could switch, but I don't know yet, because I'm trying to think of good teams. And I remember from my other Pixelmon that I had two seasons ago, where I had Starmie on my team and Slowbro, and those are OP. Lapras is really OP, and then Marsh Stomp and... But Swampert is really good and OP. And there's just so many good Pokemon that I could have. So, I'm really debating between, like, what I want. Oh, whoa, that looks so weird. But, oh, Tangela. Huh, that's weird. But we are in the update, and there are some new Pokemon in this update. I do want to get a flying Pokemon this episode. But I thought I'd let you guys know that I did want to go with a water-type gym. And if you guys have any suggestions for what Pokemon I should have, just let me know. But, like I said, I probably definitely want Starmie, definitely want Lapras, and then, I don't know from there, probably definitely want Swampert. But from there on out, I do not know who I want, what I want, where I want. Like, oh my god, it's a Metapod. I thought it was like some type of shiny. But, I don't know what I want from there on out. Like, I could go with like a Slowbro. If I want type variety, I could go with something else. I don't even know. We shall see. But, I guess we are just going to run out a little bit, see what we run into. Because I do want to catch a flying type Pokemon. And there was a new Pokemon that was added to the mod. It's called, what is it called? Let me search that real quick. I think it's Rufflet Pixel Mod. I think it's called Rufflet. And that's really cool because Rufflet, it's like this bird from the newest generation. And I know nothing about it in all honesty. And I'm reading about it right now on my other monitor. And I have no clue what this stuff means. But, yeah, what am I saying? I have no clue what I'm looking at. But... We do want to go find a roughly, and I assume those probably spawn somewhere around, if I do slash spawn, somewhere around here, but we will, whoa, that's weird, I thought I was lagging, but roughly it should be somewhere around here, I just don't know where to really find him, which kind of sucks, but I would assume maybe, oh hey, a Venonat, swag, alright, let's battle this Venonat, green boss, here we go, let's just battle, come on, come on, let me battle, let me, there we go, let's battle, okay, and I think quick attack will be our most effective move here, oh wait, actually, are you a grass type? Because bug super... Nope, you're a bug or something. Alright. I'm still trying to look off Rufflet, though. Um, because I do not know where he spawns. And I really want to catch one. I don't know, though. I'm looking at it, though. It's like, eh. I could see it spawning somewhere around here. But, like... Um, like Lucario and his pre-evolution, they spawn at the edge of Extreme Hills Plus. Or something stupid like that. Which, I don't know. That's going to take forever to find. The edge of an Extreme Hills Plus? What is that? Okay. Here we go. We got Bulk Up and a Netball. Alright. I can see that working. Alright, alright. What is that? That's a Paris over there. Okay, but we do need to keep on looking and searching and hopefully find a roughly or some type of flying Pokemon this episode because although I did want to mention what type of gym I wanted to do, the point of this episode is going to be to get a flying type and potentially training that up so I can actually fly on it. But I, it'd be nice to get roughly since it's the newest thing to Pixelmon and it's like, hey, you know, new Pokemon. Obviously, I want to try it out and get it. Plus, I need a flying type. It's a win-win situation, so let's go with that. But let me know your guys' suggestions because although I really want... And, like, Cloyster could be a good water type, too. Although I really want, like, Starmie, Lapras, and... Just, like, there's so many. Like, there's Vaporeon, there's Cloyster, there's just so many Pokemon I could get for water. But at the same time, like, I have my Grovile as my starter, and I could go with Sceptile, Venusaur, um, Torterra, potentially, and... Grass type looks really, really good. So I do not know yet. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, water or grass, let me know. I just really like water. Because Starmie is OP. Fast, really strong special attack hitter. Um, then you've got Lapras, which is a big special attack hitter. Good defender as well. And who else is there? Um, Cloyster is a really good defender. Slowbro is really good on defense. And just the team in general is just so balanced and so nice. And even like Whalemur and Waylord, we could pick those guys up. I don't know. I want your guys' suggestions. I'm leaning towards water. Let me know what you guys think. But until then, looks like we're just been looking for a flying Pokemon this episode and training that little guy up. I really do like my gap. No way. 
No way. What? What? Are you joking? Are you... What? Okay. Um... What? Honestly, what? We just randomly ran into a shiny Geodude. Second episode, and it's not like how we found our other shinies, like where we cut back in because we randomly run into one off camera. We legitimately found this guy, just like, running around. Oh, no, okay. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. I honestly don't know what to do. Okay, maybe a quick attack. Don't kill it. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't... I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do... Please, just stay. Please. Please. Please, just stay. Just stay. Why? Why are you being so annoying with this? Just stay. I don't... I don't have a healer nearby. You're gonna despawn. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. What? We just... What? We just caught a shiny Geodude. Increase special attack decrease... That's really good. Actually, no, it's not. Special attack sucks with Geodude. It's more physical, I think. But... We just caught a shiny Geodude. We've had a shiny Pokemon in every season of Pixelmon. Just casually. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Wow. Okay, I am. I gotta snap out of it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow. Okay. Wow, shiny already. Huh. Alright. And that's our fourth Pokemon on our team. Because now I'm thinking... Maybe I want a ground type gym. Let me search up ground type Pokemon for Pixelmon. Uh, here we go. Ground type Pixelmon. Let's see what type of ground types there are, because I don't really know what there are. I don't think you have legendaries in your gym. Probably no. But like, I can have Flygon, Needle King, this Geo dude, um, like Mamoswine, Crocodile. I don't know. Maybe ground type gym's the way to go. I honestly do not know, because ground doesn't look bad either. So ground, grass, or water, huh? I don't know. We won't get into that yet because I'm still debating and I don't know what gyms other people have because they may have them. But we will see. I, I can't believe that. Are you serious? We just ran it. Okay, okay. We got to snap out of it. What? Okay, I need to find the marketplace. I don't remember where that is. Um, That's somebody's house. Yeah, this is weird because I'm not used to the server and like where everything is yet. So I'm kind of just running around with like no head just looking for things. I can't believe you just found that. And that was the first time I legitimately like ran into one. Like, just straight up on camera running around. Usually it's, like, off camera like I am now. And it's like, hey, look, a shiny. Like, I start recording. And I usually feel awful because I'm like, I should be recording. But I'm like, you know what? You don't know when you're going to run to shiny. It's a 1 in 9,000 chance of finding one. And I just casually found one. That is absolutely wild. Oh, my gosh. And we almost lost it because we're running out of Pokeballs. In my head, though, not going to lie to you guys, I was thinking of using a Master Ball just because I did not want to lose it. All right, where's this, where's this Pokemart thing? See, I have no clue where I'm going. That's the worst part, too. I have honestly no clue where I'm going. I know the Mart is somewhere around here in the town, obviously, but I just don't know where. Let's see. There are a bunch of Magikarp down there. There's not really much happening there. Wow, okay. I don't even care anymore. Like, this objective of this episode was to find a, a flying-type Pokemon and train that guy up. But, I mean, if we're going to find a shiny, I ain't going to complain, you know? You know, eh? That's crazy. Okay. You know what? But if there had to be a... Pokemon, it had to be somewhere around here, and I I don't know, it probably was blue now that I think about it. I feel like it's farther out, a bit farther out, because I don't remember it being like right around the corner here. So I probably gotta head a little bit down that way or something, or maybe even that way. I don't know, I gotta ask Timmy where the Mart is, because I am totally lost. Like, hello, Mart? Hello? Hello? No? Okay, no Mart. Huh, I have no clue at this point. I'm just running around in circles, but I'm honestly just... Ba oh, a Totodile. Okay, we could work with this. Let's let's catch this little guy. All right, here we go. Um, I think I don't think Totodiles are that rare, but this guy looks like a small guy as well, so you probably want to pick this guy up. Okay, okay, that just happened. Poison Sing should do a decent amount, maybe sometimes. And eh, did we miss? We missed. Wait, did we even hit? There we go. Okay, 
We just want to bring this guy down a little bit. If we catch a Toad Dial, great. If not, oh well, not that big of a deal. Because these things are not that, that rare. But they're not that, that common. Plus, this one looks really small. And for me personally, I feel like every Toad Dial I see is just really big. So this guy looks like a pygmy to me. But then again, I'm not a Pixelmon expert. Like, I don't know, like, sizes and everything. I think a Netball will do best here, actually. I don't know why I didn't use this at first. Works best on, like, water slash bug type Pokemon or something like that. So... Let's catch this Totodile real quick. He's not going anywhere out of this guy. No way. Yep, there you go. Got Totodile. Let's check his size. Probably Pygmy. Nailed it. Called it. Defense down. Speed up. Don't care. Got me a Pygmy Totodile. All right, I knew it was kind of small. Oh, it's so cute. All right. We are rolling, guys. What a great episode. Honestly, it's like been 15 minutes and we have a shiny Geodude and a Totodile already. Wow. All righty. Um... I really do want to find my way to the Pokemart, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm running around like a chicken without its head. I have no clue what this thing is. I'm going to ask Timmy to give me a tour around town because I feel like this is more of a don't really make your own Pokeballs, but buy them kind of. And I do have like all this raw fish and stuff like that. So what I may do is I may go sell all my raw fish and kind of invest in buying a bunch of Pokeballs with that because I have a lot of raw fish. I have like little things here and there that I can sell kind of like my bulk up TM. I don't really need that, but I don't know. Maybe I work something out with somebody. I don't know. Nobody probably wants that trash. But I guess we're just going to run into the sunset as we close off this episode, guys. This has been an amazing episode. Just Shiny Geodude, Pygmy Totodile, both really rare. Obviously, Shiny Geodude being more rare. But still, like, Pygmy Totodile, how many Pygmy Totodiles do you see? Every Totodile I see is, like, oversized and gigantic. This thing's like a little baby. It's adorable. So I... Timmy told me to run west whenever I don't know where to go, but I don't know. I hmm, doesn't really seem like anything's really going on here. Whatever. We'll run west as we do the outro here. So anyway, I guess I hope... Let's do slash spawn so we can kind of pick up some ground here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pixelmon. I guess this may be a slightly shorter episode than what you guys are kind of used to, but I found a shiny Geodude. Episode 2. And this is the second or third time I hopped on the server. One for a shader shot, one for episode 1, and here we are now. So... That is, I, I can't believe it, a shiny already. So episode, season one, we had a shiny Ninetales. Season two, we had a shiny, I'm trying to think, we had a shiny Electrode and a shiny Fero. Season three, we had a shiny Trapinch, Trapinch rather, last season. And this season, we have a shiny Geodude. I'm telling you guys, just like, luck. I don't even know what it is. It's just crazy. But I have to build a water gym. Timmy suggested I could build it around here because this is a really nice area. And... People are building theirs around spawn, so why not? That can't hurt. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Pixelmon. Hopefully you guys do like the shiny, because I know I do. I do want to find a whale more next episode, too. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to record next episode. Be sure to leave a like on this video, guys. Show me that you guys are enjoying the series. Show me that you guys were excited for the shiny, because I know, oh my gosh, that's absolutely wild. Uh, comment your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys next time.